A city proposal to ban amplified sound on public property is raising some concerns. The plan says people can still play instruments in parks and along city sidewalks, but they can't amplify that sound without a permit. The Knoxville City Council voted to postpone a decision for the next four weeks. WBIR 10 News reporter Stephanie Haynes explains why city leaders are going to give it a second look. Stephanie. Robin, city leaders are going to take this time to make changes so the proposal strikes a good balance. On the one hand, the city wants clearer noise complaint guidelines to assist police, but others say they're concerned that it could limit artistry and free speech. On any given day, You'll hear the melodies of at least one musician on Market Square. I just like to entertain people. And sometimes I'll make money at it. <laughs> you won't hear the sound from amplifiers. Unless you have a permit, amplifiers are banned on the square. And city leaders are working on a variation of the rule citywide. That means streets, rights of way, sidewalks, parks, and all public property. Some performers say a blanket ban on amps would limit their work. I got a loud voice, so it really doesn't affect me, but a lot of people don't, and they need that and fit for people to be able to hear them. Others say it protects people's rights to peace and quiet. Yeah, I think it deters people from enjoying their experience. City leaders say they want police to have clearer guidelines when they are called out for noise complaints. The proposal requires performers to buy a permit for amplified sound. But what includes amplified sound? Does that include a Bluetooth or a megaphone? And that's what people have questions about. The proposed amendment struck me as odd because it was so broad. Um, it was unclear how it would be enforced. And that's what city leaders are working to figure out. City leaders say they'll consider decibel level, proximity to businesses, time of day, the permitting process, and its possible costs. I think that's a step in the right direction um, to protect all of our constitutional rights. Council will vote on their updated amendment in four weeks. Robin and John. Stephanie, thanks very much.